must not be her purview. Hunter. How goes it, Hunter? Or is it the Hunter? Worst part about that Hydra job? Manhattan traffic. Why do you have so much money? Is a reconstituted revenant about to hit me up for cash, or...? I mean, what is the point of having so much? Oh, you aren't kidding. Concept of billionaire didn't exist back then, huh? Uh, what's the best way to put this? Money isn't everything, but it's a lot of things. It gets you access, and greases the wheels. If you want to make big changes, money is a necessary evil. That much wealth seems like a weakness. Why not give it up? Well, I did, boss. More than once, some jabroni seized control of my professional or personal assets. What, what is a jabroni? That doesn't matter. Each time I found a way to seize my assets back, and not because I missed the bidets you find on private jets. Developing new Iron Man suits, creating the Spark, building and maintaining Avengers Tower, you name it. All that requires deep pockets, so I keep them as deep as I can. I make no apologies for that. There has to be a next time. Let's do it soon, boss. Hey. Thank you. 
Who's a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. I see. I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. The goddess must be busy. I'm glad to see you're getting comfortable with the words of power, Hunter. If you're going to continue our little investigation of the Abbey, they'll be vital to your success. Investigation? A side project, but a potentially transformative one. With my blessing, Wanda was working to uncover what may be the most powerful. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing in here? Standing in the library? I've given you free reign so you could get back on your feet. But I never thought you'd pull something like this. I... What is it you think I am doing, exactly? Don't be coy. It does not suit you. I told you how hard it's been since we lost Agatha. Instead of letting it rest, you decide to... reopen the wound? Oh, Sarah. I would never... I never thought of this place like that. Of course you didn't. And now, it's done. Why should I ever stand in your way? That anger wasn't meant for you, dear. You know that, right? Don't hold it against Sarah. She may try to mask her feelings, but you know she is struggling with what happened. Why are you hiding from her? For most people, the captivating relationships of their lives are formed over a matter of days and years. Sarah and I spent centuries together exploring this world, fighting the darkness, Watching cities and even nations form and then crumble. And yet we persevered together. You still have not answered my question. It may be difficult to understand, but she needs this time. Sending Wanda away, sealing the library, that elaborate memorial she conjured up. She didn't waste any time trying to bury what happened. You are right. I do not understand. It isn't up to me to reveal myself. It's up to her to accept what happened and allow herself to grieve. When that happens, we'll see each other again, but not before. I trust you will do what is right for Sarah. So, what is it you are looking at here? Yes, we should get back to the real reason I asked you to meet me here. Wanda's journal. The Abbey Grounds have a great deal of history. Many of its secrets remain hidden, even after all this time. Even to you? Even to me. Wanda had taken to exploring the grounds in search of a strange energy we both sensed. Knowing that Sarah had no intention of waking you to investigate, Wanda felt it was up to her to take your place. Of course, being the clever girl that she is, her notes are written in an ancient, transient cipher that I've only just begun to understand. Have a look at the first entry.
That is something. Hunter, hello. I'm sure it still seems a bit cryptic, but Wanda was definitely on to something. If you remember my altar, that's where she was conducting her experiments. An investigation that involves experiments? Why do I feel like you are going to get me into trouble? <laughs> Since when has that ever stopped you? Let's meet out at the altar. I'll try to do a better job of explaining from there. Charlie will show you the way if you've forgotten. Tour guides my hand. Oshter smiles upon me. This looks like a fairy ring. An elemental rod. I should take this back to the altar.
Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? Humor an old, dead woman. Ugh. Hocus Pocus. Oh, you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements, their power activated only by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. Let me guess. That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before I head back to the library. An arcane key. Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. That seems intentionally vague. It's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck.
elemental rod. I should take this back to the altar. Like most things, I are you... I see you found one of the elemental rods. If you'd like to keep going, you may keep searching for more. Hunter? You said something earlier about the blood. In a world full of mysteries, the blood have managed to remain even more mysterious than most. They were an ancient race, said to be born of the Elder Gods. As I understand it, they were very strict about maintaining their bloodline. That's probably why you don't hear about them very often. And yet, here you are. One of their direct descendants. Are there others? It's quite possible. But even if there are, they might not even know it themselves. Somehow, I take comfort in that. What they do not know cannot hurt them. Indeed. After our last battle, what happened to Lilith? You were in the woods. You and your mother obviously came to blows. But we found no wounds, no evidence of what happened at all. A silent, deathly embrace between mother and child. We had hoped you would both find peace in the next life. But she's not buried here? No. We entrusted her to the Knights of Wondergore the ancient protectors of your ancestral homeland in Transia. I don't think they ever expected to contend with an organization like Hydra, and I doubt Lilith spared any who survived her reawakening. What would Wanda want with your altar? What can I say? Some people have a curious, adventurous itch that just has to be scratched. I was one of them, and so was Wanda. Caretaker, not so much, but I see it again in you, Hunter. So you encouraged her exploration? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What good is being as powerful as we are if we're just going to spend all our time cooped up within these walls? 
What's the worst that could happen? Uh... <laughs> you got me there, dear. What do you know about the Moon Seals? Presumably forged by the gods themselves, I like to think of a Moon Seal as both a lock and a key. With the right power, wielded by the right person, the energy of the seal is unleashed, creating a conduit to the Elder Gods. And I am that right person? Just another benefit of being descended from the blood. Lucky you, dear. Where did the words of power come from? While I often call them blessings or gifts of the old gods, the words of power are actually powerful invocations tuned to the unique energies found in descendants of the blood. And caretaker used the words as well? Of course, dear. Sarah used the words of power on the abbey grounds just as you do today. Many of the areas you encounter that seem receptive to these spells are actually the result of Sarah's frequent undertakings. Can that really be you? After all these years, it is good to see your face again. Wish I could say the same, Mother. Now enough with this deception and reveal your true form. But this is my true form. The way I was when you were just a sweet, helpless little baby. You don't remember that, do you? Well, I do. Bringing you into the world was the happiest time in my life. And taking you out of this world again will be mine. I had thought the words of power would open your eyes. But I should have known my sister and her pet witch would continue to withhold the truth from you. And what truth is that? The truth they are keeping from you, you need only. Wait! Mother! Where did you... Was that really her? There you are, Hunter. Got time to look at something?
Let's see if you're as good as... Later. Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Is that your way of getting my attention? Well, don't leave me in suspense. How are you enjoying the library? I thought we were past that. We are, but I'm still allowed to be annoyed with you. I expect a bit of pushback from the others, but not from you, Hunter. Why not? When have I ever made things easy for you? You had your moments, few and far between, but that's exactly my point. You know what that place what she meant to me, and you did it anyway. Even you admitted the library is too valuable to be locked away. I had only hoped to find something, anything that might help us in our fight against Lilith. You could have come to me first, at least tried to convince me. <laughs> we both know I wouldn't have listened but I would have appreciated the honesty. At least we are talking now. Silence between us would only make things worse. You're right about that. We have bigger things to worry about. Like the mouthy alien tormenting Spider-Man as we speak. He did risk himself for us without hesitation. We owe him for that, at least. For once, I think the entire team is in agreement. It's only a matter of tracking Venom down. I would just follow the trail of destruction, but maybe there is another way. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Don't leave poor Spider-Man waiting too long now. The intel cache we recovered from Hydra's gunship might seem sophisticated to the casual bystander, but they probably weren't expecting to go up against the likes of me. With Central's help, I can decrypt these babies in no time, providing us a valuable and fascinating glimpse into Hydra's twisted little minds. Hey, Hunter. This won't take long. I'm not gonna sleep well after reading this. Now that we've decrypted the intel, let's put what we've learned to good use. Check out the available hero ops listed on Central. your target, Hunter. Thanks, Hunter. We've got a situation rapidly developing. I'll be in contact soon, Hunter. What are you doing, Faustus? Hunter, my second favorite zombie superhero. Who is your first? Tony, on two hours of sleep. So, what do you need? 
I have questions for you. Sure, ask away. Tell me about yourself, Carol. What in particular? How did Carol Danvers become Captain Marvel? During my time with the space program, I found myself involved in a conflict between alien species, Kree and Skrulls. I got too close to a device called the Psyche Magnetron, and it completely altered me. A Kree soldier known as Marvell felt responsible for what happened and took me under his wing. He was a hero in his own right, and we fought beside each other for years. He's gone now, but I took the name Captain Marvel as a tribute to what he stood for. Since then, I've made the name my own. Your strength is hard for me to fathom. With all this gamma weirdness keeping Banner in Banner form, I'm Earth's mightiest Avenger. <laughs> Once Thor realized the Hulk was in a class of his own, he was not happy to be in third place. He still challenges me to arm wrestling contests, and loses. He's much less salty since I started calling him Asgard's mightiest Avenger. How powerful would you say you are? Hmm... When someone says we need to call in the big guns, they're talking about me. Just don't say it in front of Bruce. The Hulk is an order of magnitude stronger, no question. But he doesn't have my precision, patience, or reliability. At least, that's how Bruce put it. That much power. And it does not seem to have gone to your head. I do get cocky sometimes, but I don't take any of this for granted. And I always remember where I came from. Arrogance is like punching the afterburner with your wheels down. Thank you, Carol. Anytime. And hey, if you find the time, we should hang out. I will consider that. Of course. Please, watch yourself. Oh, you are gonna love this. We are finally getting some decent tech down here. Got more coil for me? Got some upgrades for you, hot off the press. Or forge. Big Tony's Forge of Mystery, we never close.
die as well. Later. Ready for more? I guess it's hard to avoid ending up on the news when you're swinging around a place like New York. Somehow the writer always manages to be a little more. I needed that. Hey, for someone they just dug up, you look pretty fresh. The Suns have always tried to avoid public scrutiny, but things are gonna be different now that we're working with so many big names in the hero industry. Relaxing. some danger room training at the X-Mansion, and you were much more challenging.
forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. You do as you ask. Get to the trucks and grab those artifacts before they roll out. That will not be a problem. Sacrifice yourself blindly for Lilith? You are more foolish than you look. Out. You're running out of time.
trouble now. A reputation precedes us. Give me time. Artifacts are secure, but why don't you teach Hydra a lesson while you're there? Are they stronger than they look, at least? Your face. 
by your weakness. twice. Excellent work.
for someone they just dug up? Is the forge treating you well, Doctor? It is, all things considered. The scent of Hellfire is slightly less obnoxious than Tony. Oh, uh, Miss Minoru wishes to speak with you. She requested you do so tonight. What about? A great mystery and a greater opportunity. You should seek her out. Any idea why Nico wants to speak with me? My ideas are manifold. Only she can answer your question. Before the night ends, of course. Anything going on today? Yes, Nico wants to speak with you. Do so before you sleep. Can you tell me what this is about? No. Can you give me a hint about what Nico wants? No. Talk with her tonight, yes? It is important to her. Hunter! I was just looking for you. We need your assistance. Who is we? The Esoteric Mystical Order, specifically the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism. That is an elaborate name. You can blame Doctor Strange. Oh, I may have rearranged a few words so it spells out emo kids. Tell me what you need. Doctor Strange Magic and I are researching a crucial moment in your past, but it's probably better if we just show you. How about it? Ready to uncover one of the greatest mysteries about your life after death? Maybe next time. That's fine. But if we don't do it today, we'll need to wait for the next lunar alignment. Turns out, most of the mystical arts require an aligned moon. Who knew? It's good to punch Hydra in the face, but they feel like a red herring. Okay, a black and red herring, but still. Lead the way. Let's do it! Nico will tell you our purpose. So, about the spell that brought you back to life. Uh, it worked better than expected, but there are some... gaps. You are talking about my death? Exactly. The memories of your final moments might tell us how you defeated your mother three centuries ago. That could give us an edge this time around. Those memories are lost. Maybe not. We think there's a way to recover them. All you're gonna need is a mystical jumpstart. How would that work? Doctor Strange can explain it better than I, but if you want the abridged version, ask magic. And when you're ready to begin the ritual, let me know. Hunter, I'm glad you're present for the inaugural meeting. Of what, exactly? Why, the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism, the Abbey's local chapter of the Esoteric Mystical Order. Right, emo kids. So, the ritual? Regarding your resurrection, we had to meticulously reunite your corpus or physical vessel with your animus or spiritual essence. How does this relate to the ritual? Animating your corpus was the easy part, but your essence, your thoughts, hopes, fears, and dreams, that was the slipperiest eel. Does the ritual require eels? But now, 
with the plenary potential of Miss Minoru's staff of one to focus Miss Rasputin's enigmatic energies, I, Doctor Strange... The ritual. The Sorcerer Supreme shall pluck from unreality your mislaid memory, thought lost to time and death. I shall stare those cosmic forces in their many eyes and shout, Nay! Doctor Strange, the ritual, how does it work? Didn't I just explain? I could start with the fundamental underpinnings of the multiverse theory if it would help. I am done talking about this. But I... oh. All right. You changed your mind, then? Please proceed. Yes, very well. I believe I had just gone over the... hmm, on second thought. I cannot wait. Regarding your resur... Uh, how does this relate... Animating your corpus was the easy part, but your... Does... But now... The rich... The Sorcerer Supreme shall... Dr. Str... Didn't I... Just... Ah, yes. The first part's easy. I need you to focus on your last memories before you fought Lilith. Will this help me remember? I can't answer that. When I start, you'll be the one making the repairs. The rest of us are here to keep you steady. All right. If you're ready, we can begin. I am ready. Now, Hunter, tell us what you see. I raced through the abbey grounds, angry, terrified. It is too late. We were not ready for this fight. My foot slips, but I catch myself. I run with my blades exposed. I am completely alone. The moonlight guides my path. My lungs ache. My heart pounds. I rush toward my doom. I... I cannot... No! Whoa! We, we, we all saw that, right? I have no words to describe it. Finally. Well, how about that? Your final moments are there, just buried deep inside. It did not work. Not yet, but we made progress. I'm sure we can figure out a way for you to remember more the next time. Next time? Heck yeah! Emo kids meet every lunar alignment. Or, you know, whenever we're free on a slow night. Oh, and we need ingredients. Magic will send a list to your spark. If you bring enough, we can refine them into more useful mystical objects. We're done for today, but I'll be in touch about the next meeting. Catch you later.
Whenever we foil Hydra's plans, an angel gets its wings. It's nice of Hydra to provide all these free sparring partners for you. If they were smart, they'd start charging for these sessions. Fascinating. Ah, I see. 